So your home is bug free. No bugs in it. You're pretty sure. Pretty sure. How much would you need to get paid to release a hundred cockroaches into your bug free environment? Five hundred bucks? I mean, you got a hundred cockroaches just willy nilly anywhere. Just could go in your bedroom dresser, pull out some socks. Oh, is that a cockroach in my socks? Oh, it looks like it is. Oh, hey, putting on some shorts. Oh, is that a cockroach in my pocket? Yes, it is. Why do you have one there? Well, you know, I got paid some money to let a company just what a hundred cockroaches go in my house and then they're going to go in and they're going to use some kind of technology and they're going to study it and it may or may not work out. And if it doesn't work out, they've promised to get all the cockroaches out. I mean, yeah, most of them, there's a hundred of them. So they get out like 97 or 98 and then we've just got three dead cockroaches. I, you know, we can live with really, this is what's going on. A company in North Carolina is paying two grand to have willing homeowners I let us just dump a hundred cockroaches into your house and we'll see how this goes. That's literally what a company is doing. That's what we're going to talk about right now. How much would it take for you? To have a, I don't, I, I don't, 10 grand. If I'm going to name a price, I don't really want to deal with all that. 10 grand. I, I know it's a lot of money, but also, you know, time is money and um, my time's worth a lot. And I have to deal with a hundred cockroaches in my house that may or may not get sorted out on the tail end when this thing, you know, gets all done. That's why you're getting paid, you know, at least a couple of grand. Is this worth it? I don't know. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sean Reynolds. I own a couple of real estate companies. And I read stories like this because you want to hear these stories. It's what we're doing. So two grand to have a hundred cockroaches just, do they just like, do they like let them out of little cages or do they just dump them throughout the house? I kind of want to know, right? North Carolina company is offering homeowners two grand in order for them to allow a hundred cockroaches to be released into their homes. The company, the pest informer, the pest informer, we're informing on pests. We're not killing them. We're informing on them. Mm, I, I don't know about that name, that marketing, the pest informer. Mm, doesn't quite get me there, is making the offer to homeowners in an attempt to test out a specific pest control technique and see how effective it is. Why don't you take, you know, a warehouse, fill it up with some stuff, and you could just probably do this over and over on your own, see how effective it is. I don't know. Do you need people's real life homes? Five to seven household owners will be selected for the study after signing up and will allow the company to release a hundred American cockroaches in here. Not those pesky ones from Mexico, not the Canadian ones, not the ones from Venezuela. No, not those cockroaches, American cockroaches into your home and give us permission to film and test out a specific cockroach treatment. All right. So you're going to have people in your house chasing around the cockroaches they let out, trying to film them in various stages of dying, because that's the whole point here, right? Is to get the cockroaches all eradicated. Because unlike their name, the pest informer, you as a human being and as a homeowner, whatever, renter, whatever, you want those pesky cockroaches gone. You don't care about their treatment or whatever. You just want them gone. But this company, yeah, they're going to film and they're going to ask for your permission. Lots of stuff going on here. At the end of the study, if the cockroach infestation isn't gone, the company says it will use traditional cockroach treatment options at no cost. We're, we got you covered. You're getting paid. You're getting some extra cockroaches in your life, maybe a little protein in your food because we don't know where these are really going to end up. I mean, we got to study it. We got to film it. Got to do some time lapses, seeing where all the cockroaches, you know, coming out at night. It's creepy. Cockroaches. Deal with a lot of bugs in Hawaii and just a lot of bugs there. You know, that warm tropical climate just doesn't ever kill them. Doesn't ever get cold enough to kill the bugs. And so you got to just deal with a lot of creepy crawly bugs. Tropical environment, you just, just kind of deal with it, right? You're like, oh, there's a big cockroach. The, uh, you get those little gecko, um, you know, the, the gecko and they're kind of, you know, 
those are cool little animals, but um, you see those everywhere and those just run around. Those are fine. But the bugs, you know, the cockroaches, the little things that kind of fly sometimes and sometimes don't. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. The ones that, that crunch when you step on them, you're like, oh, that's gross. Oh, did I just crush wings or vertebrae? I'm not, I'm not sure. That just didn't feel good. And then you got to wipe it off your foot. And yeah, not, yeah, not, not what you're looking for if you're like, going to the bathroom in the middle of the night or you're getting a little snack or something like that and you step on a cockroach. Now, anyway, they have a hundred dropped into your house and then some video action going and are they going to count all the cockroaches? What if the cockroaches lay eggs? Mm, yeah, there are a lot of options here, right? What if one just goes underneath the dresser and does never come out and doesn't respond to treatment, doesn't respond to the traditional treatment? How are you going to know? Guess that's why you're going to get paid the two grand. You're getting paid the big bucks, right? We're having the study go on. So at the end of the study, if if, if, if they're not all gone because this study didn't work out, sorry about that. Uh, then they'll come back and they'll give the official deep cockroach cleanse of said dwelling. Oh, I don't think so. I, th- I think I'm a hard pass on this one. The only thing worse than like cockroaches and that is slugs. Slugs are bad. They have that long, slimy, you know, that's what they run on. Just, oh, gross. Slugs are so gross. And you get that slime on your hands, like when you're picking weeds in your garden and you you get that, oh, what's, the, oh, that's a slug. And then you've got that slug stuff on your hands. Not good. Some people eat them. No, thanks. Hard, hard pass. Some people eat cockroaches like dipped in chocolate and stuff too. Yeah, no go there. In order to be eligible for the study, homeowners must meet these requirements. You must own the home or have written approval from the homeowner. You're a tenant. Yeah, I'd like to let a hundred cockroaches into your home. Is that okay? I'm the tenant here. They're going to pay me two grand. I mean, they promise they'll get them all back in a little jar at the end. Plus, you'll have some video. You can check out what cockroaches do at the middle of the night. So you got to have written approval from the homeowner. No homeowner is going to say, oh, yeah, go ahead. Fill my house up with cockroaches. What do I care? I mean, they couldn't possibly lay eggs and infest everywhere, right? No. You must be 21 years or older to qualify. Oh, that's good. That's good. So um, yeah, you don't have any 18 or 19 year olds. Ah, cockroaches. Let's just let them through. You must be located in the continental United States. That's good because you're releasing American cockroaches into said home, right? I mean, none of this pesky international cockroach action here. No. You must not try any additional cockroach treatments during the duration of the study. As much as you want to kill all the cockroaches running around your home, swarming about your home, just got to let them go. I mean, they're mostly clean creatures, right? I don't think so. No, I, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, no. The study will take a total of thirty days, and according to the company, the cockroach treatments used are family and pet safe. Is anybody going to sign up? Somebody's going to sign up for this for the two grand, right? They're like, I don't give a damn about my house. It's a piece of crap anyway. Let those cockroaches go. I want two grand cold hard cash. That's what I want. Somebody's going to do that. Somebody's going to meet this criteria and do that for two grand. Just cockroaches. Those cockroaches could be in there forever. You know, a lot of houses have cockroaches. Don't have as many cockroaches here in the Pacific Northwest because it does get cool enough to kill them. Eh, that's just a theory I'm going with. But there's a reason you have you know more bugs in parts of the country. And here in Seattle, we have very few bugs. I mean, if we get a few bugs during the summer, you know, when it gets above 70 degrees for that one or two days, literally. In May, we had two days over 70, over 70, not over 80, over 70. And one of them was the very last day of the month. We've had none in uh, in June, I don't think, because it's been just, it's been raining off and on, off and on a lot. Cockroach weather, right? Yeah, cockroaches, I don't know. But um, yeah, we don't have a lot of cockroaches here in the Pacific Northwest, which is good. Other areas of the country, you got them all over and they're just gross. But you just kind of learn to live with them. Um, You know, when I'm down in Oklahoma City, there's various, you know, bugs and things down there that I'm like, okay, yeah, the spiders you speak of, we just don't have those in Seattle. Probably wouldn't want to run into one of your poisonous spiders because I hear they're not good if you get bitten by them. But um, yeah, it's a different thing. Cockroach, yeah. You just think of cockroaches as 
kind of bigger bug, crunchy, just kind of gross and diseased and germ laden. But you know what? Two grand, you can buy a lot of cockroach cleaner for two grand, right? Go down to Home Depot, get yourself one of those pump up container things. And then you just cockroach that cleaning solution throughout your house. Got to go outside, inside. No, they get everywhere. That's the point. They get everywhere. Right now here in Seattle, I've got two people that I know they're working on an ant infestation, those little tiny, tiny ants. They come around this time of the year. It's like when uh, outside temperature starts to warm up and everything's, you know, doing its thing. It's got that, you know, we've got that spring thing going on. Oh, it's time to reproduce and time to do something new. And um, so ants, they just, they kind of, they literally they come out of the concrete and they go to food sources. And then you just got all these tiny, tiny little ants running around. You got to take, uh, you know, stuff and do the perimeter of your house, do the outside, do the inside, do areas around infestation might come up. But yeah, somebody's going to, a bunch of families are going to take this. This company's going to spend, what, 10 grand? Doesn't seem worth it to me. But if you're, you're short on cash and you're not, um, you know, you're not afraid of bugs, you're okay with, you know, maybe a bug or two getting in your fridge or maybe in bed with you or, you know, in your bathroom, open up that bathroom drawer. Oh yeah. Well, there, there's missing cockroach number 98 in there. Found him, found, found him. I'm assuming most of these cockroach roaches are male. I don't know why either there, but yeah. All right. So this is, uh, this is literally a thing. People are going to do this. Would you want to do this? I certainly wouldn't want to want to do this for enough money. I think I do a lot of things that I normally wouldn't do. Two grand for this kind of hassle for just having a bunch of bugs in my house. I'm going to, I'm going to say a no, even though two grand, it's a lot of money and you could buy some cool stuff with your two grand. You could have a lot of fun during this upcoming summer, right? With your two grand, you could throw a good party or you could invest in your future. Oh, that sounds boring, right? Or you get a hundred cockroaches, just let willy lit nilly noose in your house. I mean, you could, I mean, that's what two grand to get you. All right. That's it for me on this one. I'm a hard no go on the cockroaches in my house. That's where I sit. Where do you sit? What would you, how much would you, how much would you want to get paid? I have a hundred cockroaches like loose in your house. Yeah. Something to think about, something to consider, something to reimagine, rethink. Thanks so much for being here. We'll catch up soon. Talk then. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.